Hello guys and welcome back to another cast. Uh, this is Dim Sum Starcraft here and we will and I will be casting another Hux game. And this time uh, we are playing on Zonaga Cavern and Hux opponent will um, be in the will be sl Slayer S Heart, I believe. Um, he, uh, this uh, the name I, I can't read his name because this is Korean, but I did see the name in the replay itself in the replay file, and it says Slayer um, S Heart. So I believe they are. F this is going to be someone from the Slayer clan, and so I'll just call him Heart, I guess. And well, kind of fitting. He is the Red Terran, um, so I can call him Heart Heart because Heart's color is red. If you guys didn't did not know that. So, um, uh, Huck will be playing Protoss as usual. Uh, Huck is a very top uh, pro tier Protoss player. And I do not know much about uh, this Heart player. So we'll see how he does against Huck. Um, if he can hold his own against Huck. And let me just talk about this map a little bit. We'll, this is Zalnaga Cavern. Uh, Zalnaga Cavern is one of my, personally, is one of my uh, favorite maps um, as a as a player. Um, I, I believe this map is um, really fair for all three race and this uh, the natural is all the way up here in the front and it, it can be pretty hard to defend because there there are pretty big entrances especially um, in this front right here there's one here there's one here there can be also a back entrance right here um, which can be hard to defend if you don't have anything back here to detect what's going on and s um, your opponent s sneaks some units there especially what Protoss would like to do they like to put um, like a proxy pylon around this area and then warp in some Dark Templars and Dark Templars can move in from this backside or even just from the front side and just pretty much uh, harass your mineral line but looks like the heart um, he will be um, blocking his ramp so that um, Huck will not be able to scout what's going on and Huck is going very standard Protoss play um, but it looks like Huck is getting out very early second gas and he is already pulling three probes off on his gas so we'll see what Huck decides to do and Hart sees exactly what Huck is doing with his SCV right here and Hart will be playing very oh no Huck uh, Hart decides to get a Reaper instead of the Marauder. If you saw that earlier, he had a Marauder queued up, but he decides to cancel that and get a Reaper play. So we will be seeing Reaper play, most likely for scouting purposes, just because the Reaper um, is so versatile in, on this map, especially going off and, uh, and on the ramp, especially w with these rocks blocking the way. And that's, what, that's the other thing I want to mention. The third base the third expansion on this map is very hard for players to get. You either have to destroy these destructible rocks and get to get your gold expansion, or break these rocks and secure your third natural uh, over here. Or you don't really have to break these rocks, but it's usually a better, a good idea to break these rocks, just because if you get attacked and these rocks are not um, broken down, it takes it will take forever for your army to reach to go around the side and to reach and to provide support for your natural so it's usually you'll see players break down this, these rocks if they decide to go for this natural and usually Terran players like to go for the gold expansion right there just because if they if Terran player can get the gold expansion and get a planetary f planetary fortress up here and maybe even like uh, two to three turret right here they can happily mine away at this gold expansion which will give Terran players a huge advantage and you can see Huck, he kind of did hit, tried to hide his robotics facility uh, in the background here, but um, Hart's um, Reaper does, like I said, has the verse, uh, the ver is very um, versatile, so he just hopped on the cliff and saw that robotics facility right away, and Huck is still um, just, just getting, just getting his obser observer so he can make sure to scout, and Huck have his Stalker trying to chase down this Reaper, but this Reaper is getting out of there because he knows he cannot outrun this Stalker. So I guess two jetpacks and against four legs. Yeah, two jetpacks is no match for four legs. Four legs are definitely faster in this game. And <laughs> you see the Sentry uh, taking a few shots at this 
Reaper, and this Reaper is definitely going to go down. So these two Stalkers ha have him trapped with, <laughs> with this Sentry right here, and Huck does kill the Reaper, and Huck Sentry sees exactly uh, what Hart is doing, and Hart is getting his expansion. Um, Huck, Hart has got a really early expansion uh, compared to Huck. Huck's expansion is uh, a little bit more than about 75% done, so Huck will not be that far behind. Um, but, but the Terran player does have the ability to summon mules, so if he decides to summon mules, he'll definitely be ahead of Huck. And it looks like Huck has his army right here. Um, I, do, I don't think Huck will try to push out because it is definitely not a good idea to push out at this moment, especially with a bunker right here and with these marauders, which will be very effective against stalkers. But looks like Huck is still being really ballsy and <laughs> just having stalkers just walked right past um, the Marines and Marauders. And it looks like Huck is sneaking attack from the backside, killed off one SCV, and these stalkers are running, and these marauders will not be able to chase down those uh, stalkers. And it looks like. And here's the concave right here, and very smart play right here from Huck. Trap these units. These units did was not able to get any shot off. They just just threw their life away right here. And Huck runs away with, with these four stalkers, and they they still haven't died. That one stalker is in the red with eight HP left, but this but the shield will be start regenerating, and it will be ready for another round again. And Huck did get out uh, immortal. Uh, most likely, he didn't. He saw that. Hart didn't really have anything else except aside from Marines and Marauders, which th this Immortal will be very effective against these Marauders. Um, usually, Marauders will not be good against Mar mortal Immortals, but if they can focus it down with these Marines, it will be very effective. But Huck traps all these units and uh, Hart snipes them Immortal right away, but looks like Hart will have to back up but these two marauders are stuck from the force field very beautiful force fields from Huck right there and since uh, Hart I don't believe he, s he saw the pylon no he did not see that proxy pylon right there and he does not know Huck has a proxy pylon right there Huck can be can easily reinforce his army right here uh, and just keep the pressure on so far right now Huck has the Terran player com uh, contained and he's got this Observer just in Nada's base, or not Nada, I'm sorry, uh, in Hart's base, just free scouting, and looks like Hug has a Ghost Academy. And do we have a Ghost in production? Yes, we do. We have one Ghost already on the field. We have another Ghost coming. Um, these Ghost EMP blasts will be will be very effective against Hug's army, especially against the Immortal. If you, if they can take out the Immortal shield and focus the Immortal down, the Immortal will just die really fast to the army but looks like Huck decides to pull back and not gonna keep the contain and Huck is going to destroy these destructible rocks and most likely gonna be going for his third uh, expansion and looks like Hart will be doing the exact same thing and let's check out the unit tab and we see Huck has 51 probes and Hart has 50 SCV and uh, which is about pretty even but um, Hart did summon these mules so Huck so Hart will be having these extra income. As you can see right now, Hart does have an income lead compared to Huck just because of the mule count. But um, Huck will be getting out his third expansion very soon. So once that's up, Huck will be having a lead over uh, Hart. And it looks like Hart decides to pull his army and move out right now. But Huck sees exactly what Hart is doing with this observer right here. If But, Hart, um, but Huck needs to be careful just because... Uh, if the Terran player does see that little blur right there and scans, he will definitely take out take out the observer right there. And uh, let's and we do have Huck um, getting out of classes right there. And we have an engagement right here right now. And these Marines and Marauders are just shooting right there, and they are focusing focusing down this uh, immortal. And they do take out that one immortal, but there's a second immortal on the field, and the second immortal is doing a lot of damage to these Marauders. And these Marauders will have to uh, run away, just because the Colossus uh, got here just in time to uh, kill off all the Marines. And if the Marauders did not get away, these Stalkers and this immortal will just eat the mar Marauders alive. And it doesn't. And we do have a star port with um, Medvax coming out. And Huck is getting his level one weapon upgrade and thermal lance upgrade. And the Terran player has already s more than halfway done with his level one weapons upgrade. So I, bl 
so I do believe that right now both players will probably be just um, just testing out against each other and see what each other have and not really push out until the level 1 upgrade especially the Terran player if he gets that level 1 upgrade before um, well he will get the level up, up 1 upgrade before Huck and if he pushes out uh, before Huck's can before Huck can get his level 1 upgrade completed it will be a huge advantage to the Terran player just because of that level 1 upgrade and the Terran player will see this third expansion but I did like the animation of how that Marine died he lost the Marine pretty much lost one leg and an arm and was still burning and then but but the funny that animation was pretty cool since the marine lost the arm and the leg but did not lose um, held on to his gun even when he died and here's the and um, and it looks like Hart still hasn't destroyed this proxy pylon yet and he's killing off this um, destructible rocks right now but he does seize the proxy pylon right now and he will definitely kill this proxy pylon um, but doesn't look like Huck will be doing anything um, sp special with this proxy pylon anymore just because uh, Huck is not deciding to push out anymore. Both players just deciding to macro up and we're going to be going into a pretty late game and uh, the Terran player does destroy these destructible rocks but he should be getting his um, expansion down pretty soon or he decides to build uh, right now and Huck already has his third expansion up right now so Huck will be in, will be in the lead um, about around like 500 mineral lead for Huck compared to Hart and as you can see Hart is just moving over just one class is just testing out just to s just for scouting purposes and he saw this entire Zella army right there and he's like I'm going to run away but I'm going to be really ballsy and just still stay on this ramp and this Marauder is very